Good evening and welcome to our service of evening prayer for Saturday, the 19th of December. We begin with our service of light, so why we light our candle. Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light no darkness can extinguish. We will sing our Advent hymn throughout the service, and we'll begin with uh, the first verse of People Look East. People look east, the time is near of the crowning of the year. Make your house fair as you are able, trim the hearth and set the table. People look east and sing today, love the guest is on the way. And our psalm today is uh, Psalm number 138, which we say together. I give you thanks, O Lord, with my whole heart. Before the gods I sing your praise. I bow down towards your holy temple and give thanks to your name for your steadfast love and your faithfulness. For you have exalted your name and your word above everything. On the day I called, you answered me. You increased my strength of soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise you, O Lord, for they have heard the words of your mouth. They shall sing of the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. For though the Lord is high, he regards the lowly, but the haughty he perceives from far away. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve me against the wrath of my enemies. You stretch out your hand, and your right hand delivers me. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the work of your hands. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now we sing the second and third verse. Burrows be glad, the earth is bare, one more seed is planted there. Give up your strength, the seed, to nourish that in course the flower may flourish. People look east and sing today, love the roses on the way. Birds, though you long have ceased to build, guard the nest that must be filled. Even the hour when wings are frozen, God for fledgling time has chosen. People look east and sing today, love the bird is on the way. And in place of the gospel lesson, which is yet another version of John the Baptist, I thought I would go with the Isaiah lesson today. Isaiah 10 verses 20 to 27. On the day, on that day, the remnant of Israel and the survivors of the house of Jacob will no more lean on the one who struck them, but will lean on the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. A remnant will return, the remnant of Jacob to the mighty God. For though your people Israel were like the sand of the sea, only a remnant of them will return. Destruction is decreed, overflowing with righteousness. For the Lord God of hosts will make a full end, as decreed in all the earth. Therefore thus says the Lord God of hosts, O my people who live in Zion, do not be afraid of the Assyrians when they beat you with a rod and lift up their staff against you as the Egyptians did. For in a very little while my indignation will come to an end and my anger will be directed to their destruction. The Lord of hosts will wield a whip against them, as when he struck Midian at the rock of Oreb. His staff will be over the sea, and he will lift it as he did in Egypt. On that day his burden will be removed from your shoulder, and his yoke will be destroyed from your neck. Here ends the lesson. So this is, of course, Isaiah prophesying, yes, about uh, destruction, that it is decreed, but saying that, take heart, there will be a re remnant that will return. The Assyrians uh, will be their taskmasters. Once again, it's like a return to, to the taskmasters of Egypt. Um, but the Lord says that his indignation will cease and a remnant will return. So... Uh, when we think about the difficulties of this year, sometimes it seems to us that 
the circumstances of this year have been kind of like a hard taskmaster to all of us. But Isaiah, uh, even though he prophesies uh, uh, difficulty for the people of Israel, it does end with the promise of a return. I think so many of us long for this return. I mean, it's, it's a longing for a return back to our church building, even though we gather in this way. Uh, it's a longing to return back to a fuller relationship with God. Uh, and it's, it's a longing as well to return to, to the fullness of God's kingdom. So all of these things are themes for Advent. It's about waiting in hope. Uh, knowing the promises of God, and it's about knowing that, that God's will for us is grace and his love for us is sure. So even in these very hard times where it might feel like we're uh, a subjugated people uh, because of this virus and for other reasons in our lives, there is a remnant who will return. Let us be uh, members of that remnant and, and know that this is our hope and this is God's promise to us. And now we'll sing the fourth verse. Stars keep the watch when night is dim, one more light the pole shall brim, shining beyond the frosty weather, bright as sun and moon together, people look east and sing today, love the star is on the way. And uh, now we will say together the hero israel hero israel the lord our god the lord is one love the lord your god with all your heart and with all your soul with all your mind and with all your strength this is the first and the great commandment the second is like it love your neighbor as yourself there is no commandment greater than these in our prayers today when i say lord in your mercy please respond with hear our prayer Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. For the peace of the whole world, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are weary, sleepless, and depressed, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are hungry, sick, and frightened, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For rest and refreshment, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Amen. In our prayers today, we continue to pray for the sick among us, those known to each one of us, and also the sick of our parish. And today, we continue to pray for Joseph Sikowski, Jane Ross, Len, Dave, June, Alex, Nick, Jane Gatke, Jeff Smith, Bernice Peterson, Oksana Holidick, Cheryl Clark, Star Barrett, Jody Cocker, Corinne Newell, Marion Conlon, Vic Burden, Jean Griffin, Jim Glass, and we also pray in memory of Glenn Cocker, who has passed away, and we pray for his family who mourn their loss. We pray, O Lord, that all the ill might know the healing power of Jesus in their lives and have wholeness of being in body, mind, and spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for uh, our refugee family, for Mohammed, Karima, Fatin, and Ahmed. We ask for your grace upon them and your peace that uh, during this time they might be waiting with great expectation to come to Canada. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for 10 more households on our parish list. And today we pray for Gino, Deborah, Nadia and Olivia Salvo. We pray for Mahira Samrasinghe and his wife Shanara Sirisena and their children Siobhan and Saraya. We pray for David Sansom, for Brenda Schofield, for Avril Scott, for Byrne and Elaine Scrivener, for Paul, Anna, Carly and Emily Simak, for Doris Serge, for Matthew and Ali Seymour and their child, for Lloyd and Amanda Shearer, and we give thanks for all of them. We pray for their well-being and happiness. 
And we pray for peace at this time of the year, Christmas peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, today we pray for the Diocese of South Kerala in South India, the Right Reverend Dharmaraj Rasalam, the Primate, and also the Diocese of Eli, Eli in England, and the Right Reverend Stephen David Conway, their Bishop, the Diocese of Embu in Kenya, the Right Reverend David Murithi Irenri, and the Diocese of South Rosenzori in Uganda, and the Right Reverend Jackson Nzerbende, their bishop, the Diocese of Enugu in Nigeria, and the Most Reverend Dr. Emmanuel Chukwuma, the bishop and the primate, and the Diocese of Enugu North in Nigeria, and the Right Reverend Sosthenes Eze, their bishop. We pray for all the clergy and people of all those dioceses. And we also pray for another brother of the Society of St. John the Evangelist. We pray for Brother Jonathan Mari, and we give thanks for his, his work among the brothers and his uh, work as uh, helping to guide and direct the Fellowship of St. John, of which I am a member. We ask for your blessing upon him. Give him wholeness of being. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray once again the nighttime prayer from the Anglican Church of New Zealand. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. And the collect for the third week of Advent. Stir up your power, O Lord, and with great might come among us. And because we are sorely hindered by our sins, let your bountiful grace and mercy speedily help and deliver us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And now we'll sing the fifth verse. Angels announced with shouts of mirth, Christ who brings new life to earth, set every peak and valley humming with the word, the Lord is coming. People look east and sing today, love the Lord is on the way. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Thank you for joining us in evening prayer uh, today. Uh, tomorrow, of course, is Sunday. It's uh, Advent 4. I hope that you will join us for our Advent 4 service, which will be available by 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Uh, you can come between 10 and 10.30 in front of the parish hall for outdoor uh, reception of the bread of communion alone very safely. Um, if you wish. Uh, but then uh, we hope you'll return home and join us for our Zoom coffee hour uh, at 11 o'clock from the comfort of your own home. Please note that there is a service, uh, uh, there's a service uh, of carols uh, through St. John's Alora, and uh, hopefully you will receive an email uh, link to that service. Um, and uh, Please note that, of course, um, there will be evening prayer as well uh, each evening of the week, uh, this coming week as well, except for Friday, of course.
uh, blessings to you and uh, hopefully see you tomorrow, perhaps in coffee hour.